just forcing myself to press play on this one because I feel like I've been overthinking this episode because I want it to be so perfect for the people who have reached out to me for podcasting tips. I want to give you tips from the heart, ways to move forward, practical tips. I want to give it to you all in one episode so you can watch it and then implement those tips. Um, So I've just been trying to make sure my energy is right and my notes are right and everything. So I am just going to get started um, because I also feel my period starting probably today. So in like two hours, I will not be able to do this. (laughs) So um, today was kind of a crazy day. Well, actually, let me start. This podcast is going to be about podcasting tips um, and everything in between. But today was kind of a crazy day. I really tried to be productive, get things done, which I did. I also tried to get some content photos for the things like that Instagram page. But I still have this weird issue with taking pictures in front of other people. And I got dressed up cute and everything. And when I was driving home, I was like, okay, I'm just going to pull over on the side of the road and get some cute pictures because we have really good trees and pretty backgrounds around here I was originally going to go to the lake near us but I was like it's probably not a good idea to be like on a backwoods trail by myself um so I decided not to do that but I probably got one good picture because I I just hate when people are driving by me and I'm pulled over on the side of the road and they're like do you need something and I'm like no I'm just taking content photos like I still don't know how to be okay with saying that so I got like one good picture um I also spent some time writing down my goals because I'm really trying to get back into a healthy state of living I feel like shit right now um and my friend really whipped me into shape the other day that I need to get it together so I wrote down some goals for that and now I'm filming the podcast um I wanted to try a new intro of like telling you a little bit about my day I'm not going to make today's too long just because I have so much I want to go over, but I want to hear your thoughts on that. Do you like when I just go right into the topic or when I kind of like warm you up a little bit, tell you about my day, share some stories, and then go into the topic? I can't decide what I like when I'm listening to a podcast, so let me know your thoughts and opinions. But let's get into it because I have so much to share and I'm still so new to podcasting. I'm on like my 11th episode, I think, 11th or 12th. So I am by no means giving you like professional (laughs) podcast advice, Um, but I just want to share a little bit of what I've learned in the last two months with it so you can kind of have an easier start and implement these and not have to hit some of, you know, the roadblocks that I might have hit, you can kind of steer clear of those with these tips. So I'm going to do five podcasting tips, a few things I wish I did differently, and then just like some extras that you can follow, like some really cool things I've learned along the way that you could implement into your podcast. So starting off with tips. Um, I want to start with these are kind of more like mindset, honest tips, not so much here's the program you should get, here's the microphone you should get, um, and things like that, how to edit. This is going to be more of the mindset you go into podcasting with because it definitely can be kind of like a new world. So the first thing I'd say is to give yourself time to cultivate the vision. I feel like we live in a culture right now where everyone's just like, just start the thing, do the thing, don't think about it, just start. And I respect the premise of that but I also think it can hinder a lot of people and I think it's the reason a lot of people start a lot of things and don't finish them because you are full of excitement you just launch it and you're on a very unstable foundation for example if you just start a podcast today you totally can do that I'm sure many people have had success with that um But if you're looking to start with a solid foundation, not a perfect foundation, but a solid foundation, um, you want to have topic ideas, a name picked out, maybe one logo made, maybe your Instagram page started for it, little things like that so that when you do start bringing traffic in, you're not like fumbling around to try and get all these things together. You have some things already 
for your listeners to go to before, you know, things get really crazy. So I really encourage you to, if you're committed to starting a podcast, take some time to cultivate that vision, dream about what you want it to look like, what kind of listener base you want to bring in, where you really want to go with it. Think about um, the logo designs you want to do, the colors you want to use, where you really see your podcast going. So that way you can have like a sustainable excitement about it and it's not just an impulse decision and you put out really good content content at first and then it dies out. So take that time to sit with that dream and get excited about it. It's not going anywhere. Um, You can take your time to slowly start it. I know a lot of people say you should start things fast and you're running out of time but that just puts you in this like anxiety mindset when really there is time and you can do this slowly and still be successful so that also means you have to be okay with imperfection and I know that's really hard to do like specifically myself I'm a huge perfectionist and I want everything I do to portray my energy correctly and make people feel cozy and welcome um But in terms of starting the podcast, yes, have that foundation, but don't focus so much on, is this the logo I want to use for the rest of my podcast career? Is this the intro that's going to be the perfect favorite intro? Things like that, you can just do okay when you first start. And then as you learn, you can build on that and create new, better versions of those things. So like for myself... I knew that my intro was pretty muffled and like shitty when I first started, but I didn't want to spend so much time recording the perfect one, finding the perfect song, making sure I had the perfect microphone to record it on. Um, I wanted to just start the podcast with what I had and be okay with that because when you focus so much on the details and getting everything perfect at first, that's when you're really going to get burnt out too. By the time you launch the are ready to launch the podcast, you're already going to be so overwhelmed and be like, I hate podcasting because you spent so much time focusing on details that you could have made better over time rather than all at first. So just do basic things when you start. I didn't even, I still don't have a microphone. I record into my phone. We'll get into how I record later, but I didn't get a microphone. I didn't spend 60 hours watching YouTube videos on what what's the perfect microphone. Um, I didn't let my spe- myself spend too much time focusing on the logo. I just made one that I felt excited about. It doesn't have to be all done in a day. Um, so let yourself start with a shitty podcast and know that over time it's going to get better and you're going to learn new things. Also, when you are up up leveling those parts of your podcast over time, do it one at a time. Like I said, you don't have to have your whole podcast figured out in a day. You don't have to have a YouTube channel for it and be looking at these people who have tons of listeners and think that yours has to look like theirs at first. You have to be okay with knowing things are going to be shitty at first. Um, and as you up level, just listen to your creative intuition as you feel like you're prepared to maybe make a new intro or you've learned a little bit more about graphic design and you want to create a new logo, then you can work on those things and create a new version that you love better than your first one. Um, You don't have to spend every waking hour of every day researching podcast stuff and implementing it right away. Again, that's when you're going to get overwhelmed and burnt out and hate podcasting. And honestly, it makes it more fun when you slowly build up your podcast and see how it's growing over time rather than rushing to put something together and then being an anxious mess and (laughs) being like, I hate this. Um, So take your time up leveling, listen to your intuition, allow yourself to slowly be creative. That's when you're really going to create stuff you're proud of. And one of my biggest tips, um, I don't know if every podcaster will agree with this because I'm so new to the editing and recording and all that stuff. Honestly, I thought it'd be the part I hate, but I'm really enjoying it so far. But I started by downloading the Anchor app. The logo of the app is going to be purple and yellow. That's how you'll know it's the right one. 
Um, and this is basically an app where you can record your podcast, edit the podcast, and launch the podcast to all these different podcast platforms all on one app, and it's all free. So eventually I do plan on getting a nice microphone and maybe paying monthly for a subscription to a podcast um, app that can do a little bit more. But for now, I just want to have a spot to record, edit, launch, because that's all I need right now. I don't need to spend 50 bucks a month on a crazy big editing tool that I don't even know how to use. Um, Another thing I love about Anchor is you can also look up the stats of your podcast. Um, You can do, you can add ads as well. They'll help you find ads. Um, Excuse me, I just ate, so I'm like having this indigestion. Um, And you can also add like background music, make your intro, literally everything on this app. Um, You can launch it on here too, so they'll allow you a spot to put your logo and your description of the podcast. Everything can be done on the Anchor app, and it just makes it a breeze. Um, Like I said, one day I will hopefully move on from this, but right now it fits my comfortability level and also you know, where my podcast's at. I don't have thousands of views coming in right now, so I don't need all that crazy mess that's draining your bank account. Um, I really plan to up-level my podcast as it succeeds. So as I start getting more listeners and being able to add ads and then I have money coming in, I can use that money to up-level the podcast. So I'm just taking it slow. I'm not doing anything crazy and all at once. Really just allow yourself to enjoy the process. It's so easy to want crazy fast success and I feel that too. I'm like, I just want an awesome community of listeners and be able to make this my full-time job and all that, but it'll feel so much better when you build it on a sustainable foundation. So go slow, step by step, and start easy. Seriously, start with the Anchor app. It really is a good point to learn the different parts and components of a podcast. Let me take a sip of water. So there are some things I do differently. I only have a few right now because I really was intentional about starting off the podcast slowly. Um, So I didn't totally rush into things. I didn't feel like I was necessarily fumbling around and completely failed at anything. Um, I've really just been giving myself grace throughout this whole process. But there are some things that as I've done more research and, you know, listened to more podcasts and just seen how people react to mine and when I listen back, what I wish I would have done differently, I did come up with a few things. Um, And one of those, and this is something I didn't even think of when I launched my podcast, was when you launch your trailer or even when you launch your first episode, upload more than one. I feel like a lot of people think that the trailer is what's going to get people hooked, but it's actually people being able to binge listen to a few of your episodes. Like think of when you hear hear a trailer of something your friend's doing or a new podcast and you're you have to wait a whole nother week for the first episode. You really are like so excited about it and you need something to put that excitement towards by binging like three to four episodes. So when you launch your podcast, upload four episodes at once. Um, I know that can seem like, oh no, I need to do it at once and to get the most listeners, um, but people want to binge. They want to clean their dishes, go on runs, and listen to multiple podcasts. So don't leave them hanging. Give them like a good bit of what you're the magic you're creating and you're going to give them and allow them to be able to binge that Um, so I didn't even think about that but I would totally have changed that if I was starting my podcast now as opposed to two months ago I also would have done slightly more research Um, like I said I did do this slowly but I also was like I'm just going to listen to my intuition and build this and not really compare myself to other people and look at what other people are doing and try and fit that mold. And that genuinely was so helpful. I definitely encourage you to do that as well. Um, But I just wish I looked up a little bit more of like, what should my show notes look like? Or what's a good way to structure a podcast title? Things like that. Um, Just little details. I wish I would have researched a little bit more at first. Of course, I learned them 
along the way, it's not a huge detriment. Um, I just wish I had a stronger foundation on details of like, what is a basic podcast look like? You know what I mean? Um, so I definitely just would have looked into more of, you know, good times to post a podcast, just like the logistics side of it. I wish I would have known better, but that's also my least favorite side of things. So I kind of avoided that. But in that time when you're cultivating the vision, take that time to do some more research as well. Um, Also, I would recommend building your strong foundation to a point where when you are launching episodes and you're then having to promote those episodes, already have like a your solid Instagram kind of built have a layout of how you want to post things, when you want to post things, not necessarily a schedule, just how you want things to look. Already have your bio set up, um, your link in bio set up so people can find your podcast. So as people are reaching out to you like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited and you're messaging them back and you're getting the podcast up and you're creating graphics for that week, you're not also doing those minor details of, oh shoot, I have to add the link to my bio or oh shoot, I didn't, you know, create my website or whatever you want to do. Um, Have those ready beforehand just so you're not kind of balancing everything all at once. So you're not building that foundation while people are already reaching out to you like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I listened to the first episode. Try and have all those things ready before, you know, you launch. I wish I would have done that a little bit. I was still kind of creating my Instagram page and, and, um, making new logos and stuff as I was launching and it got a little a little crazy not too much like this process genuinely has been very smooth but that would have been a little helpful um there's also some extra up levels that I'd like to share some fun things I've learned along the way just to continue to build on the podcast so once you've created your strong foundation you've learned from the things that I did wrong at first now Here's some things that you don't have to do right away whatsoever. Like I said, I'm on like my 11th week doing this and I haven't even fully completed them yet. It's just things that I want to add now. Um, So one of those being starting a YouTube channel. So once you feel pretty confident and sustainable in posting your episodes weekly, um, create a YouTube channel, upload your audio onto there, or if you're recording over Zoom, upload that video onto there. People love to watch podcasts. It's also just another platform to get your podcast on, and when you start getting more listeners, you can monetize that as well. So it's just another backup, another way for you to get exposure. Um, I learned that YouTube is, of course, a search engine, um, so there are some details to, you know, learning the best way to upload the YouTube video and how it should look. But again, start basic with that as well. You'll learn all the crazy details along the way. But when you feel comfortable, get that YouTube channel started so you have another means of reaching a new audience. Um, Also creating really great show notes. So when you post your podcast episode and it asks you to create a description, Of course, at first I was just doing, you know, my normal like Instagram caption description, which is fine. You learn along the way. Um, But some things I'd recommend adding in yours is either timestamps or topics that you talked about. So when people look at it, they can see what they're going to be listening to in that episode. I also recommend putting places where those people can find you. So your Instagram, your personal Instagram, any other resources you have available for them um, or any other posts or resources you created that go along with that episode. So if you did an episode about how to be more productive, maybe you can create like a small ebook on productivity with like a little plan or whatever, put that in the show notes. If you have any guests on the podcast, put the places where your listeners can find them in the show notes as well. Also, I created an email for my podcast. So if people want to email me topic ideas or any type of business inquiries or ads, that resource is down there for them as well. I know this sounds like a lot. Um, You'll implement it along the way. You don't have to do it all now. I promise this information is being soaked up in your brain and it will come out at the right time. Um, But I really wanted to have a strong, not overly bulky um, show note 
podcast description, but enough so people can navigate and find you in several other places. Um, you want to do everything with the podcast um, where it creates ease for the listener. Um, and it's like, it's very easy. People don't want to search a million different places. People don't want to spend time looking for things. You need to lay it all out there for them. Um, that also helps you build that community. Um, and that's the fun part of the podcast, um, is building the community of listeners who want to hear about the topics you're talking about. It kind of makes them like your best friends, um, cause you guys have a lot of things in common. So work on building that community through Instagram or a newsletter or on your YouTube channel, really spend time with your community, which is something I need to work on too. Um, but that's going to be the foundation of your podcast is creating people who really want to come back and listen each week, not just because of the topics, but because of you and the experience they have in your podcast community. You're not just creating a podcast, you are creating a community. So when you really focus on nourishing that and building that, it will really pay off in the end because people will stick around longer simply for you know, the experience of being in that community. Um, so even if you have a shitty podcast week and your episode, you feel like it sucks, people just want to listen to you and be a part of what you created. Um, and along with that um, is asking, learning to ask for things you want. So I forgot to do it at the beginning of this episode. I Every week I remind myself, but I always forget. Um, but remind people like, hey, leave a review if you really enjoyed this episode. Put your feedback in the review. Um, like, subscribe to the podcast, things like that. People aren't going to do that unless you ask. So make sure you're always guiding your listeners um, towards the, di- the direction you want them in. And remind them of... Um, you know, new promotions you have going on, or maybe a new series you're doing, or merch you're launching, anything like that, always remember to relay that to your your community. They're not going to know unless you tell them. And lastly, as you create your own community, immerse yourself in the podcast community. Get on other people's podcasts, have guests on your podcasts. Of course, your podcast doesn't have to just be Um, full of interviews. You may want to have a solo podcast, um, but allow other people to come onto yours. So when they um, say, hey, I'm going on this podcast today, that can bring new listeners to your community. So really get yourself on other people's podcasts, have people on yours, integrate yourself into the community, get to know people, really have fun with it. It's really fun to be on someone else's podcast. Um, I was on my friends not too long ago, and it's so nice to see the other side of it um, and know what it's like when you are the guest. So that teaches you how to treat your podcast guests, um, which reminds me of something else. I started kind of making just a little graphic, like a PDF thing of what to expect when you're coming on the podcast. So when you schedule a guest, you send them this PDF so they know, you know, here's my Zoom link or here's, you know, create a, um, a, what's the word, a username on the Anchor app so they can record in your room with you. Um, send them the list of questions you want to talk about. Really prepare your guests to be on your podcast. Make them feel comfortable, welcomed, and appreciated. Really take that time and go the extra mile for your podcast guests as well. Um, that way, not only they, you know, just have a great experience, but they recommend you to other people and they're more willing to share about it. Um, really just take the time and the details of how you want your listener to feel and the people who come on your podcast to feel. That's really going to make a huge difference. Um, it won't feel like you're just putting out content. Um, really nourish your audience. Um and your supporters, that's what they are. This community, your podcast is, you know, it's theirs. It's their space as well. Um, So really keep them at the front of your mind when you're doing things. So I know that was a lot of information. I feel like I was talking fast. My podcast episodes are normally much longer, but I'm not going to let myself ramble too much longer. Take some time to settle with this information. Take some notes. Um, really just kind of ruminate on this, dream a little bit, and I'm so excited for you to start your podcast, and I will definitely do some more episodes on this, so if you have any questions or reviews, let me know. 
Um, if you enjoyed this episode, like or subscribe to this podcast. And please take a second. You can pause the episode now um, to leave a review on whatever podcast platform you're listening to. It literally means the world to me. I love hearing from you and hearing your feedback and implementing it and just knowing that you enjoy this space. So I will see you next week. Um, Feel free to follow the Things Like That Instagram at Things Like That Podcast and email me any topic ideas you may have. Um, But I will see you next week. Love you.